just past 1 o'clock. It's 90.3 KEXP here in Seattle. I'm Stevie Zoom in for Cheryl for the Midday Show. Going to continue on for another hour. And right now, though, very happy to introduce and welcome back to KEXP Shovels and Rope. Carrie Ann and Michael are here. Thank you so much for returning. Thanks for having us. We're pleased to be here. They are at the Showbox Soto this evening with the Drive-By Truckers. Doing a few shows with those guys. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah. And uh, again, glad that you're uh, you're back here. And we'll talk in a little bit, but if you're ready for a couple of songs, that'd be great. Let's do it.
All right. Live music here at KEXP. You're listening to Shovels and Rope. Carrie Ann and Michael are back with us. And again, they're playing tonight at the Showbox Soto with the Drive By Truckers. Doing a couple more shows here as the week goes on with those folks. If you're in Portland tomorrow night, they're at Roseland. And Friday night, I got to give a shout out to this one. My hometown in Sacramento, you're going to be there at the Ace of Spades. That's right. I moved away from there a long time ago, but you got to like that name of that venue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this will be our first time in the, in the sack. They That's call right. it the sack. I'm excited to get there. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, thanks for coming back. Uh, a lot of great stuff happened with OB Joyful, the album from 2012, and a lot of uh, touring after that, and a lot of uh, wider recognition from that album, which was fabulous. And uh, now as we uh, a little bit into this year, are you guys, is this kind of a, a beginning of a new chapter after doing all the touring with that album? Uh, it's very much the beginning of a new chapter. Um, we had an amazing adventure with Obi Joyful, and we took, uh, it took us um, all over the country, and, and we logged ourselves a lot of miles. We were lucky. We had a... We were able to write a bunch of great new songs on the road, and as uh, as the summer comes around and, and turns into fall, we'll be starting a new record cycle with a, a new batch of music that we're going to put out. But um, it's a it's all it's it's always a renewal. Every time you get to make a new uh, a new collection of music, you kind of get to start fresh, and we always appreciate that. So you could, you're able to uh, do some writing while you're on the road, while you're traveling, uh, touring. A lot yeah. of you know a lot, a lot of bands they go, no, I can't do that. Yeah, with us, we just had to learn, really. It's not uh, the ideal, but um, we've been figuring it out, and it's also kind of uh, forced us to write together a little bit more, whereas um, when we first started this thing, we mostly wrote songs separately. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you've not, so to this point, you've not uh, recorded any of the new songs yet, or have you started that? Mm. Sort of. Tell them. <laughs> yeah, we've been working on it. Um, uh, so it's, 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 it's it's close to being done, <laughs> actually, um, but um, we're not too sure when it's going to get get out there and get released. Yeah, but we're good. we're very excited about it. Is Charleston uh, still home for you? Yeah. yeah, Charleston, the holy city, salty salt water city. <laughs> yeah, um, we we didn't get to see it very much of it this year, but um, we got to we were home for uh, to watch spring hatch, and the city was just doused in azaleas and. Uh, camellias and you know jasmine and all every kind of color flower you can imagine it was a beautiful thing to see before we headed back out on this trip yeah so uh with new music is it still going to be this great mix of uh you know sort of this americana sound and a little bit electric and a little bit of folk and that happening is that still kind of where things are going uh yeah it's i mean it's always hard to try to describe your own thing yeah um especially as uh, you know it evolves but i think that you know, I'll say it's equal part. It's it's as as dark as we've ever been, and also um, as light as we've ever been. So it's got a lot of. Um, it's just kind of a wide range of stuff, and we're experimenting a little bit on there and um, trying out some new trying out some new tricks. Yeah, that's good. And I got to mention too, I liked the uh, release, the single last year, the forty five, the Blue series with Third Man, the covers that you did of uh, Springsteen and Tom Waits. The forty-five. Those have been so. It's been so much fun to um, take. It was fun to process to make those recordings, but it's also been fun to uh, kind of get to own those as part of our show. Yeah. Every now and then we'll throw them in, and it's just like it's a super super fun musical experience. <laughs> How did that come about with you re- uh, doing those uh, for Third Man? Did uh, Did Jack White give you a call, or uh, mm-hmm. how did that come about? Uh, Jack White called our mom. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he j- well, we we played a couple of shows with him, uh, three shows, um, uh, and then actually his his tour manager at the end of one of the shows was like, "So you guys are doing some recording with us, right?" And n- none of us had heard of anything about it. And we're like, yeah, "Okay, <laughs> okay, if, if you want." To it. <laughs> and um, and then you know, shortly after we got the call, and it was like, we just went in there for a day, like four hours or something, knocked out a couple of songs. It was real easy breezy and. Um, he was great to work with. Yeah, it was, it was, it was probably the easiest recording uh, session that we've ever done. Coolest home studio we've ever been in, yeah. either. It was uh, like a pretty, pretty deluxe. Um, they I raced mean, our minds after we, you know, like as we were walking out the door so we true. couldn't have, tell the secrets. Yeah, <laughs> he's got that magic, I hear. That, 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 that's what happens. 
<laughs> All right. Shovels and Rope are playing this evening at the Showbox Soto along with the Drive-By Truckers. As I mentioned, they'll be in Portland tomorrow night at Roseland. And uh, looking forward to hearing new music from you guys, new recordings hopefully later this year. I hope that all works out the way you, you want it to. A lot of things can happen. Uh, it'll do whatever we want it to. All right. Nobody tells old Shovels and Rope what to do, right? <laughs> if you're ready to keep going with a couple of songs, that'd be great. We'd love that. Um, I think we're going to play uh, a little Shank Hill. We'll bring a, a murder ballad to the table today. One of the bloodiest to date. It's kind of nice outside, so we need to, yeah, we need to turn it a little bit to a murder ballad. Yeah, let's bum everybody out. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> let's, have, let's have a little reality check for, of our mortality, shall we? <laughs> well, buzzing like a locust Vibrating right out of my skin We're pounding on the butcher's wall Somebody come and let me Well, there's a black-haired woman Carrying a rolling pin Well, but your man's got a secret But she knows where he been, yeah She knows where he been And you'll be alone
90.3 KEXP, live music from Shovels and Rope. I'm glad the lights are on. That one was a bit scary. <laughs> <laughs> We're a scary bunch. Should we get happy? Let's get happy. Life is a balance. <laughs> She was a live wire, she was stuck in the past. I was holding the new, he was waking up fast. It was four in the morning, she's holding on tight to a day before we look alike. Circa 85, and now he's turning up his amplifier, staring at his toes. Cause even when he's looking at you, he's still looking at his nose. Sounds like surf music, maybe more than just a little. But to me, it's just another form of California dribble. Live music here at 90.3 KEXP, Shank Hill Street and Cavalier, performed live by Shovels and Rope. Thank you so much, Carrie Ann and Michael, for being here. Again, they're going to be performing tonight at the Showbox Soto with the Drive-By Truckers. Good luck on the new recordings later this year. Thank you. We'll need them. <laughs> we'll look forward to hearing those. And a big thank you to our engineer, Kevin Suggs. It's 90.3 KEXP, Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.